My name is Dalian Groverson, I'm from App Member Site, and on this video I'll give you some, some insight on, on how I see the Optimized Press 2.0 version, what it can and what the, the challenges is. It. Uh, it's a completely new platform that contains a lot of new functionality for, for building websites. It, it has a good uh, setup for, for creating all these kind of things. Uh, there's a good email marketing setup that enables you to set up uh, campaigns with, with most major email providers. You have some social media settings uh, and some tracking and, and the well it's the same logo and stuff you would be using as you did in the previous version of uh, Optimized Press. So it's some some good things around this uh, that it contains. Uh, the the big thing is we got the the new page builder that easily allows you to create uh, review uh, that y where you have some like the the home page ATM. Uh, just like that one, there's a bunch of different uh, pages here, s s feature sales page and stuff like that. If you want to have different kind of pages for it, um, you'll just be proceeding and Uh, one of the bad things about it is, well, it's a completely new framework, so it takes a lot longer time to, to generate some of these things. So you need to to put up some uh, uh, configuration or some some caching to make the the sites run even smoother. So now you can simply just edit all these kind of things. You get uh, easy text boxes to to edit all the text all over the the page. Uh, you can select all kind of fonts on this. Uh, maybe I need to select this area first and then select. Uh, highlight and coloring. Uh, so this makes it really easy. The videos can be edited. Uh, um, Um, so you got all these areas and you can move around with them if you want to and have some some information from your blog links to to social profiles and stuff like that so this is really a good way to to edit things you have some different page settings you can configure uh, what you should do Facebook share where if you share this page where should it point you to so if you have someone inside your launch funnel you can say oh well if you comment on this when it gets to their feed it should be placed in here um, so this is a lot of uh, good information and that you can configure and you just say save and close and it's saved and then you would be able to see it in your pages. Oh, date. Oh, and we have a preview of it here. So that is uh, really uh, a thing I do like about it that it's easy to create some some good looking pages you get some sample content that makes it uh, easy to, to understand and then read so you have fear the loading time it takes a long time because uh, the way it's built and how everything is working out um, when I did work on on some of these things uh, I had some challenges with uh, editing some things and figuring out how to, to add some some videos in this uh, so there's some some bugs that uh, sometimes you have been paused whenever I had to edit the the video uh, 
uh, I can see that in, in some of the, the background uh, when it's using a video and you're using a URL it's not doing it uh, really well for for any mobile devices that's using the flash which is that uh, I would say a kind of deprecated technology and I do hope that the team will make it update and I can even see that they have added the new source code for the new uh, flow player they are using uh, but it has not been activated yet uh, so there's some things that some bugs that needs to be fixed so, so I guess this is still it's not a beta but it's still a lot of bugs uh, for it uh, the blog page is a little different I've created another video because you can see it here on the app member side YouTube channel uh, one thing that really bugs me is for a long time so here this is something that irritates me that I cannot go in and edit this video uh, on this uh, page and this is uh, not really <laughs> a good thing uh, another thing is I have been using uh, Optimize Press for quite a number of sites and I would obviously love to have this functionality migrated to the new site so I can uh, benefit from having uh, the live editor and making my, my web pages much more stunning. But the challenge is there's no upgrade path between the old and the new one so you'd have to recreate all your pages in this uh, new uh, platform and that will take you a long time if you have a lot of pages. Post is not that difficult uh, because well it's it's a post and then you have some content beside it so so there you don't have a big upgrade task but you do on the, the pages and if you have created membership pages and stuff like that then it's a big challenge. I think one way you can get around it is to use uh, Optimize Press is also delivered as a plugin and if you use the plugin you may be able to, to just use it on some sites or some of the pages and then uh, when you have configured all the pages do it. But it's not something that will take you a couple of minutes uh, just to upgrade it. It's a a full process like redesigning the full page and I doubt that most people would like to do that because it, it takes a long time uh, for each page but you would get some stunning pages so I, I would think it would be much better to, to do it on the membership pages would not be relevant uh, as relevant I think it would be more relevant to, to update the 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 public the the the, the landing pages uh, and the value videos and your sales page for this one. Uh, another thing, if if you have used um, some of the called the the short code for uh, comments or uh, uh, what's called a guarantee stamp, they they had some some good uh, examples you could use and put in some images. Those features have also been removed so you cannot use that anymore. So in that perspective if you just want to, to update these kind of things probably better have it as a theme. Uh, has the, have the Optimize Press as a plugin and then be using the old Optimize Press as the, the, the page. Uh, as I said, well, I, I do like it has all these kind of integration technologies and when you're updating a opt-in page, uh, it's easy to select for, for get response uh, which uh, campaigns it should be targeting and um, so if we're on this one, I don't think um, so I would like to, st well I have done all these kind of things, I don't want to, to skip uh, or just want to skip all these uh, steps because they have already been done uh, sometimes. Uh, I just want to, to update the modules tab and it, it irritates me. Uh, so here I have for instance the opt-in bar 
so we'll use the get response and then we'll just get a list of all the different campaigns I'm using um, and then I'll just put a thank you page here and what kind of submit button it would be using uh, use default button um, so that way it's really simple to to get uh, sell anything with with optimized press it says so you, so that way you'd get uh, this really easy uh, another thing I haven't been looking at is there's also a plugin for optimize press uh, uh, membership site that will allow you to create membership sites and integrate with all the the different uh, shopping carts and stuff like that so you have a lot of functionality uh, but but the, I think the main thing to take away from this is Optimize Press is really, uh, it's, I do like the platform, it contains a lot of things, but the upgrade path is something that will take you a long time if you want to convert all the different pages uh, to this. Um, so if you want to know more about uh, Optimize Press and membership sites, go to appmembersite.com and sign in and I'll be updating you with some uh, more information on it. So uh, until we meet again. Goodbye.